Welcome back to DBL. So this week marks another milestone in the pandemic. It's been a year since we went into lockdown. Can you believe it? And we have lots to talk about. Our medical expert, Dr. Pyle Coley, joining us live. We literally were just texting. <laughs> First, doctor, let's get to the good stuff. Uh, just this morning, the CDC shared updated guidelines for fully vaccinated people. And now they can visit with other fully vaccinated people indoors without masks or physical distancing. They can visit with low risk unvaccinated people from a single household without masks or physical distancing. And they can refrain from quarantine and testing following exposure if asymptomatic. So Dr. Coley, what do you think of these guidelines? Are they enough in your opinion? So I would say number one, I absolutely agree with and the science supports. So if both parties are fully vaccinated at least two weeks out from the vaccine, that's a low risk situation for gathering. You can get rid of those masks and, and physical distancing. But number two and number three, I have serious issues with. So number two says that you can have unvaccinated people in the mix as long as they're low risk. What does low risk mean? And how many people actually know the risk profile of somebody that they're gathering with? So Sam, if I was coming over to your house, I don't know what your husband's medical problems are. I don't know what your kid's medical problems are. It's gonna be really hard for me even as a physician, much less as a layperson, to gauge what somebody else's risk is. So I think that's that's a not a good idea and very risky to do when we're so close to all of us getting vaccinated. And number three says refrain from testing or from quarantining even if you've been exposed. You should never refrain from testing or quarantining because it will never get you into trouble. It will always help you out. And there's still a chance even after you've been vaccinated that you could be an asymptomatic spreader. It's a lower chance, but but there's still a chance. And, and if you're someone who would have gotten symptomatic, the vaccine actually makes it more likely that you would be asymptomatic with the infection. Doc, we have some more good news. A new poll says 69% of Americans intend to get vaccinated, which is up from 60% in November. That's good. But over the weekend, Florida beaches were packed with spring breakers. We saw the video here in Colorado. With attitudes like these and oh. pictures like these, Doc, will the pandemic actually end ever or will it continue if people keep doing this? It's, it's going to continue. I mean, out of 800 people, the likelihood that somebody there was infected and didn't know it, especially with these aggressive variants, is quite high. And I think all these people are doing is delaying the tail of the pandemic when we're only two months away from the vaccine. So I found this weekend's events irresponsible and, you know, almost criminal because someone might die as a result of these events. Wow. Well, well, doctor, I think probably the most unsettling news of the weekend comes from a rally in Idaho where people, including children, were filmed burning their mask. What does this extreme behavior say to say to you? You know, Erica, this was extremely disturbing to me, especially to teach our children something that is propaganda and scientifically incorrect. Our kids aren't going to get vaccines this year. It might be next year before they get vaccinated. So teaching them to burn their masks, which we know protects them and we know protects other people, it's dangerous and I can't believe that this has happened. Yeah, I, I just really, to Dr. Coley's point, I really hope that those individuals that did that <laughs> Maybe one of them's watching right now. You do not want COVID to happen to one of your family members. You do not want to be staring at your phone all day long, waiting for a text message or a phone call from a nurse or a doctor, letting you know if your loved one is still alive or survived a certain procedure because of COVID. That's the reality. It's happened to Erica's family. It's happened to my family. There's only three people at this desk and two of the people at this desk have had COVID directly affect their families. So I beg of you, if anyone's watching, if you don't believe in masks, if you don't believe in the science, I beg of you to at least listen to Erica and I's stories. I thank you, Dr. Coley. Uh, we will be right back.